tutorial videos by Andrew Buckle. In this video I'm just going to show you how to uh, add some grain to an image using the film grain filter. Now, of course there's numerous ways of adding grain to, uh, and I'm going through them in a number of videos just showing different uh, grain effects. And this one I'm just going to go to a layer first, because I want to actually apply it to a layer. So I'm going to go to new layer and click OK. I'm going to add some colour to it. So fill, add colour. Just going to go for yellow. So it's just yellow at this point and now go to the filter so I'm just going to go filter filter gallery and there's a number of options you can do obviously when there's no actual image to work with it's just a solid color there's not actually much you can do with these things highlight areas really no value whatsoever but you can modify the grain I'm just going to go back middle film grain okay now what you can do of course as a layer you can actually just go to Blending modes, and I'm going to go. You could go for like overlay, which creates a nice sort of grain there as well. And I'm going to go for color burn though, because I actually think that gives a nice sort of very sort of sun drenched color. That's quite nice. But also, one thing you can do, of course, it's a layer. You can just apply various things like blurs. You can actually go to the blur filter, but I'm just going to apply localized blur. So you can actually just say blur the, and this is blurring the noise, not the actual underlying image. So that creates a sort of smudged noise. You can actually just see it blur in there. You can, of course, apply other tools like maybe sponge or burn tool to actually as well. So just going to go for a bit more blur. Right. And one thing also with these, uh, when it's a layer, you can actually, of course, just apply the filter. Same with any filter. You can actually just apply it again. So you can go to filter gallery and modify it a bit further. So you can actually see weirdly. You can actually see this sort of now where the bit where you I was blurring you can actually see areas of different density of of grain now so click I'm just going to say the same and then you can see sort of weird patches of grain that are sort of different things so you can actually go back and you can apply blur now to that smudge that down and again if you go back into the filter once it stops doing the blur filter gallery you can see again other areas of patches which you can of course make darker darker grain as well you tweak that now this is one thing now we've actually got something to work on you can actually see the highlight area actually can change intensity as well right so you can actually see you're creating some creating some very interesting sort of grain in different places you don't have to have it just all solid uniform over an image and just, now, once you've actually finished and decide that's what you want to do, you can flatten the image. And that's that. Hope you found this of interest. 